Patrick Henry. What up, y'all? You just chimed into the 540 radio show. Okay. Yeah, he did it the no cost. You know, for our kids, as African American kids, I mean, the best thing that I saw once he graduated was that he knew that regardless of what their class level was, uh-huh. because at North Cross, there are some of the most predominantly uh, influential people in the city. Mm-hmm. So children, they're money, yeah, their children mm-hmm. are going there. And, you know, one of the first things he realized was that hey, I think on their level, and then his last year, he started realizing. I think above that. Right. Yeah. Well, then, you know, uh, so imagine what that, that does for, for a young man, knowing that, you know, he is that brilliant. Right. Yeah. You know? And especially when these kids, when he's like, oh, they cry. They cry. Uh-huh. They're lame. They're the teachers when he first came to North Cross, some of the first things that the uh, individuals telling them was, uh, you don't have to study every night. It's going to be a rigorous schedule. Right. Like, it's going to be so it. difficult yeah, to, it's, to it's, get ahead. Coming from public school, you're really going to have a hard time catching up and all of this and all uh-huh. that. Man, my son, you know, I've been a whole large amount of homework. He never spent a lot of time, you know, a lot of studying. Yeah, he, I mean, just, he was just was soaking it up. Just jumped in it. Yeah, that's Antoine Calloway, uh, by the way, y'all. And I got Alicia Merchant here. We talking about the we talking about the difference in, in the learning from public school, private school, you know, and. Uh, Honestly, my, my my personal opinion, the public school is is threatening to kids' futures mm-hmm. and can be damaging to kids' futures. You know, when they get caught up on the, in the I guess, the underdraft. You know, because how some kids just get brushed to the side and um, just get lost in that system, man. You get labeled early, and if, if you don't have the right support system, it's hard to shake those labels off and really get any further in life. Well, in public school, there's too many things that can happen to you get mm-hmm. lost, or you can find yourself getting pushed away. Right, right. Um, you get lost because you want a better education, you want your kids to receive a better education. Mm-hmm. But if, as most of us are working parents, we right. don't have a lot of time to dedicate to it because we're still trying to make sure the household is taken care of. Right, gotta pay them bills. Yeah, so either your kid can get lost, mm-hmm. or either if your kid falls behind, the first thing they want to start trying to do is like push your kid. Through. Right. Now, I have a nephew right now. They are literally like, it's time for you to go. Mm-hmm. You need to be a body like, school. Yeah, yeah they ain't really focus too. on is he learning what he need to learn. They just like, yo, let's do whatever it takes to get him out of school so we ain't got to deal with him no more. And then even for the kids that do have to go into like the special education programs, I know I mm-hmm. had a cousin right? and Fleming that had to go into, she had a learning disability, she really did. Okay. But they would put them in the back of the school, like right. they had a classroom in the back, they didn't have air they would just shove them, them off. Right. Like, come on, you know, she, she come on about it. And she kind of, like, you know, made a real big deal about it. Because they would just put them in the back. Like, I know, away right? From everybody, like, At Fleming, yeah, them. Campbell Hall was the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. where my home room was. I ain't have classes over there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't tell nobody. Yeah, one or two classes. See me hanging out at Campbell Hall. But, but you know, we all had some classes, and that was the fine time. <laughs> right, it sure was. It sure was. Shout out to Miss Burway all over it all at Fleming back in the day. See, and I never got to go to Fleming. I used to skip from PA to ride the bus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. I forgot what you came from. Public school. Yeah. And, um, you know, the teachers, I can I can even feel where they coming from because they don't. I feel like teachers definitely aren't paid enough. You know what I mean. So when you underpaid and overstressed with trying to deal with kids who got uh, a ton of issues to deal with before they even get to school, is is a mess at times. You know what I'm saying. And you know a lot of kids are, are hyperactive in school. And really not interested in in a lot of the, yeah. you know, just sitting there and, and learning what they're trying to teach. And they a lot of ones that get labeled as the problem mm-hmm. kids or. Well, education, I mean, I think sometimes education gets overlooked in the household. Cause, right, because that's where it's got to it, start. It has to. Mm-hmm. I know during some summers, when whenever my kids are around, 
you know, summertime, mm-hmm. it's no off time because when you become older, you don't get a free time. Exactly. You don't get a break. Ain't no summer break from work. No, <laughs> that's, 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 we got you get a vacation if you're lucky. Yeah. 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 So you have to, it has to be a continued search for education. Mm-hmm. And you don't let your kids take time off and have the whole summer to run and play and don't even do any studying because right. that's what most of what they've obtained or the knowledge that they gained through the, yeah, through the school year mm-hmm. is going to kind of go away. I'm right. And then when they start they... back over, they're starting to try to pick it all uh, back exactly. up. Exactly. That's true. So you have to kind of during the summertime. I know As parents. Parents, yeah. yeah. During the summertime. Yes. <laughs> Make sure your kids remain focused. Give, yeah, them, give them one, maybe two mm-hmm. weeks out to where they can run and do their thing. But mm-hmm. it's like right back to it. A study for what you're going to be going through next year. Right. Even if you right. have your summer school, that's what summer school is for. I think exactly. That's what if you just got home, you can actually. Right. Even if you did good all year, you make a mm-hmm. great summer school still is beneficial. Yeah. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. So it's putting in work on both ends, making sure you stay in PTAs and coming to meetings. Mm-hmm. And, and, and yes, that's right, parents. All them papers that be coming home in the kids' book bag, don't just throw them in the trash. Just. Take a look and see what's going on in school sometimes. <laughs> also, be there. You have to be right. Present. Show up. Right. Meet your, your kid's teacher and the principal and let them know you care. Yeah. Or, you know, if they need some help sometimes, show up to lunch and pass out some cupcakes. I know or something. I do. I know she would try to see me. I mean, it makes, a, all the time. Yo, well, you it makes to, a big difference. You have to think if you don't care about your kid's education, how can you expect Why? your teacher or her right. or your child's teacher to care mm-hmm. about their education? And I think that's surprised a lot of because I'm a young mom. I'm really young. Like, mm-hmm. if I come to weird school, they be like, that's your mom. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <That's your laughs> right. Mom. The kids, because they ain't used to seeing it. Yeah, that. and right. I love it that God has blessed me with all this mm-hmm. free time that I can do that. Like, I can Cause just, all the little kids probably be wishing their parents would come to school. So yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Not when you get to high school, though. Yeah, but I was you know, say, the early I still days. Too much trouble. Yeah, I, ain't yeah, I see try to enjoy it. Now. <laughs> right. Yeah, you see, I'm you know, you like, elementary. You see, them all the <laughs> heartbeat, nothing. Come through, and, come through <laughs> over some cupcakes. You know, you light up like oh, she's like, she's like, like <laughs> that's your mom. But yes, man, parents it. for real, we got to take our, our children's education back into our hands. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that responsibility is ours. So, um, you know, I do little stuff like me and my daughter was playing um, Legos. Where her little Legos she got for um, Christmas. And she got the little money, the little fake money thing, too. Mm-hmm. And we was playing little store games. She had made a little house. And I, I asked her what kind of business would it be if she had a business. And it was a pet store. And oh, she had little cute. blocks. Like, what kind of little pets would you sell in there? <laughs> And I act like the little figure. I came and bought a little, I think it was a puppy out of it. <laughs> it cost like 20 She said it was $21. I gave her $23. They like, say you got to pay attention to kids when they mm-hmm. do stuff like it. Little right. signs like that. That can mean like building stuff. could be entrepreneurial. Right, exactly. Like Which brings me to mm-hmm. another subject. Mm-hmm. Well, let's just roll with it. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I did go to North Cross or whatever, I, uh-huh. had met this, I don't know if y'all know Alex Hash. Does anybody know him? No. He's with the um he's with Gideon's Army, which is like a local um oh, community service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gideon's West Side. Gideon's, right? Gideon's Army. Yeah. And he they do a lot before. of community stuff, but she's mm-hmm. a really good person too. Awesome. Okay. I like that meme. But um anyway, he is he works at Tap. Okay. And he's the one that got me um got my daughter in North Cross. He's he mm-hmm. started a program there, um, to like help African American children, or just not just African American, just low income families. Right, right. Um, yeah, because it's not just a black thing. Right, it's, it's just low, low income. income. Right. It was all. That's mm-hmm. why I said let me change that because it was right. low income families, and um, basically like depending on how much money you made, like I, they cover fifty percent. So okay. I paid about five hundred for it to go, which is good, and it would you know um, basically depending on what grade, kindergarten was a little bit more. I guess mm, okay. that focus more, but regardless of that, she um he kind of. His goal is to um, break the chain of poverty in the okay. black community, or whatever, so that we can like get kids into school. I mean, believe whether you want to believe it or not, like mm-hmm. what school you go to does matter. It so, does. Big people time. try to say it doesn't, but it does. Big I mean, time. you can get the same degree mm-hmm. at you know um, what is it in Richmond? Um, well, VCU. VCU. You yeah. know, you go to VCU, but if you go mm-hmm. to Harvard or something, you know, you can get the same right. degree, but it does matter. It does. And he wanted mm-hmm. to actually get people in that school. You get scholarships in Norcross and everything. Okay. Get you into them, um, you know, colleges so that we can get, we can have doctors and lawyers. Which we And so they can so get much. their kids. Right. And, you know, so it's kind of break yeah. that chain of poverty. That's mm-hmm. why he started it. So it's really okay. good because 
Yeah, I mean, shout out to him. What was his name again? Alex Hash. Alex Hash. And and shout out to you. We ain't made you soon. Alex. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> giving him. Y'all would love him. Word, but that's word. what his. That's it's actually a program that he started with Dr. Mm-hmm. Proctor, and Dr. Proctor's completely down for it. Like he. And, oh wow. So okay. it's just like a whole set of new, not just black kids. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just like some low income. White yeah. families, Mexican, whatever, like they just brought like a whole nother crowd in there. Oh, wow. And they See, do like financial yeah. aid. So right. it's just to work the chain of poverty. So I thought that was and great. Because yeah. we need doc we have to, we need to start raising doctors and lawyers and so stuff. much and, more than entertainers. Right. Yeah. Right. Athletes. Oh, right. Rappers and athletes. 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 Yes. You can put us in any field and we're gonna excel because right. you know we naturally just just brilliant. But you know, it really starts from childhood. We really gotta encourage our children, even you know, if your, your child come home, got a picture for you, you don't even know what it is. Just tell them it's the most beautiful picture in the world. Keep drawing. Keep Ask them, well, you know, just yeah. encourage them, uplift them, inspire mm-hmm. them, let them know they can do anything mm-hmm. or be anything. And the earlier, the better, for yeah. real. Yeah. yeah. It's the 540 Radio Show. Y'all keep it locked.